it sounds strange in hindsight, I found making $450 million easy. Easy. And I wanted to do something more with my life. And so when I got into the financial coaching, I wanted to change the fabric of financial coaching, which I have. And I wanted to be known as the, uh, well, and now that's what they call me, the greatest of all time. But this was just me flapping my mouth 25 years ago. Now I am the greatest of all time, vis-a-vis -vis creating wealth through people like yourselves. And uh, I, went, you know, I wanted to leave that legacy. And I wanted people, like I'm from the body, I'm from a real uh, rough background, been in jail five times, did a lot of ugly things. Uh, and the, um, which I don't recommend to anybody, uh, but I, I'm glad it happened to me because I know what the other side, like some of you have never been, you know, kicked in the teeth. I know what it is to be kicked in the teeth and my teeth be on the, on the pavement. I know what that feels like. I know the humiliation. Forget the pain, you get over the pain. And I wanted the poor kids to understand that they, they had a, a methodology, there was a methodology uh, used by one of them, and I'm considered for poor, although it's I'm hard, it's hard pressed for me to say how, they don't believe that I'm poor now, but I mean, the, uh, that it was once poor and got in a lot of trouble, and you can do it if you want to do it bad enough. The operative part of that little description is if you want it bad enough. Muhammad Ali, which used to be Cassius Clay, the great fighter, arguably one of the greatest fighters I've ever, he was talking shit since he's 14, 15 years old, I'm the greatest. Before he ever had a professional fight. In athletics, it's more accepted to talk shit. Okay? You've been trained, keep your head down, don't embarrass yourself, don't embarrass the family, don't say things that may not happen. And I do just the opposite. I tell you to set goals beyond your lifetime. I, te I tell you to set goals as soon as humanly possible. When kids come to me, they want to make t a million, 10 million, you know, and, and then when they've made a hundred million, they say, Mr. Pena, we would have never ever dreamt that we could create a hundred million until we met you. You will never exceed your highest expectation. You will never exceed your highest, craziest thought. Never. That's a guarantee. And so then why, other than you've been taught by your parents in conventional wisdom, to set low goals? They've told you, the theory is, you set low goals so then you can uh, stair-step achievement and you won't be as disappointed when you fail. That's the theory. But normally the person or the persons uh, that have um, uh, proposed that theory are poor.